Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. This coming Sunday is the special five year anniversary review and celebration. I'm looking forward to that. The week after that, the last week in April, I've decided to take a week off. I will not have a new review that week. And for the first week in May, I think it's time we do another patron's choice poll. We've spent a lot of time in the 80s this year. We've looked at a lot of 80s figures and vehicles, but there's still a lot of G.I. Joe from the 1990s that we really need to get to. This is the perfect opportunity to let patrons decide which of three 1990s G.I. Joe vehicles they want to see. If you would like to vote in this poll, please check out my Patreon. Support at any level gets you the right to vote. Let's look at the choices. Option number one is from 1990, Destro's Dominator. It's a helicopter that's also a tank. Makes perfect sense to me. I'm not going to lie, it would be a lot of fun to look at the Iron Grenadiers again. It would be fun to look at Destro again. So if you'd like to see this odd little vehicle, select option one. Option number two is from 1992, the G.I. Joe Barracuda. This little submarine is interesting and unique, and I think it would be fun to review. I have the color variations, and I would be interested in looking at it. The Barracuda has been reviewed before. G.I. Joe Berg did a famous review of it, and it's fantastic. Can I do a better review than G.I. Joburg? No way, but maybe I can at least find a couple new things to say about it. If you'd like to see a review of the 1992 Barracuda, select option two. Option number three is from 1994, the G.I. Joe Razor Blade. This is an interesting looking helicopter. This is actually one that I opened and assembled myself. If you remember that assembly video, you know there was supposed to to be string in the box, but there was no string. So if you want to force me to buy my own string for a review, select option three. Those are your three options. Once again, if you want to vote, just check out Patreon. The URL is on your screen right now. Support at any level gets you the right to vote. I look forward to seeing what you choose. As always, if there is a tie, I will break the tie, but hopefully that won't happen. I'd much rather viewers decide what will be reviewed. The poll will start as soon as you see this video on April 15th and will end on April 19th and the winning review will be published on May 5th. So now it's time to run over to Patreon and vote for one of these guys. Voting starts now.